Hello everyone. We are going to be in this uh, session, we are going to be discussing this integral, integral square root tan x plus square root cot x dx. I hope everyone is familiar with the definition of the tangent of x and the cotangent of x. Just to make sure we are all on the same page, let's uh, write it out what the tangent and the cotangent refer to. Essentially, the tangent is the ratio of the sine by the cosine, the sine by the cos. So this is nothing but integral of square root of sine x plus sine x by cos x plus square root of the cotangent, which is nothing but the cosine of x by sine of x. And of course, we have the dx at the end. Okay. This we can simplify slightly to read like this. Square root sine x cos x in the denominator. So what we are doing is we are taking this square root something by square root something plus something by something and we are essentially cross multiplying and taking the common denomin denominator. And the numerator would be then sin x plus cos x. And of course, we have the dx. Okay. So this is what we are going to remember. This is what we are going to be solving. And this is what we are trying to remember. Okay. So let me go over to a new page. By the way, this is a very popular integral in, uh, in one of the leading competitions in India called the IIT JEE exam. So this is one of the popular staple uh, questions in that. Okay, so now what we want to do is, we want to rewrite this, go over to a new page, and I'm going to just write that integral that we simplified it to, integral sine x by plus cos x by square root sine x times cos x dx okay so far so good this looks like a very very dangerous integral what do we do with this whenever the whole point of mathematics is that whenever we come come upon something complicated like this we would like to approach it in some simple steps so let's think about what would happen if say for instance the denominator were not even there can we even try to solve this this problem well, why are we doing that? Uh, first of all, yeah, the answer is yes, we can solve this problem. Integral sine x plus cos x dx. Okay, just if you are particular about that, let me put the brackets also. So this integration we can do. So the point is, our problem is something like this, right? It has a numerator and it has a denominator. If we are not able, uh, not even able to solve the problem, without the denominator, then uh, the future looks bleak. I mean, we have to do something serious for that integral. At least that is not the case here. That's what I want to point out. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what integral, if I forget about the denominator, uh, if I forget about the denominator, let me do that again. Let me forget about the denominator. Can I do this integration at least? And the answer, of course, is yes. This is a very, uh, so one has to remember that the differential of cos x is minus sin x and the differential of sin x is cos x. So this is nothing but equal to, so differential of sin x is cos x. So this is what comes along because of this. And then you have a minus cos x. This comes along because of this. And of course, there's the obligatory arbitrary constant C. We are not going to bother about that constant all that much right now. Okay, so this is what. But you remember, I am still keeping that bar. There is actually a denominator. And what was the denominator? The denominator was nothing but square root sine x cos x. So you may, you may say that, okay, what's the point of all this? What's the point of solving a simpler integral and having no way to get to the more complicated one? But well, there is. 
At least we have a glimmer of hope that at least we can integrate if the numerator were the only thing around. So let me try to put this as a, and this is what is called variable substitution. Let me call this u, okay? And so therefore the original integral is integral du by something. And this is why we were integrating just the numerator, so that we can put that as du. That something, as you remember, is nothing but square root for the umpteenth time, it is square root sin x times cos x. Okay. So that is what? The point is that can I simplify? Can I simplify the square root sin x cos x in terms of the sin x minus cos x? So that this looks like, so that this is what we are hoping to achieve. We are hoping to achieve so that this looks like du by some function of u. Okay. This is what we are hoping to achieve. Can we achieve square root sin x? So now the new question. So what we have done is we have broken up the question and now we are asking a new question. As, as of now, we don't even know if this new question is harder. It may be. So what we are asking is, can you express sin x times cos x in terms of u in terms of u which is equal to sin x minus cos x. Okay. And this is where we are going to concentrate right now. And let me put a question mark to indicate that this is what we are asking right now. We haven't solved this as yet. First of all, realize that expressing square root of sin x cos x in terms of this u is pretty much the same as doing the same thing without the square root. Okay, so therefore we are trying to express sin x cos x in terms of u. After some thought, one may land up uh, land upon this fact that there's no way Without multiplying u by something, am I not go I am not going to be able to convert the minus sign here into a product, a product which is here. Here's a product of the two terms, sin x and cos x. I am not going to manage that without doing some multiplication here. And what's the first multiplication one can think of? In order to get the sin x times cos x terms, we do u squared. u squared is equal to, let me write this out. What would this be? u squared is nothing but a minus b, where a stands for sin x, b stands for minus cos x, or b stands for cos x, sorry. a minus b whole squared, which is nothing but a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so let me write that out. Or if you want to just reorder the terms, a squared plus b squared minus twice ab, which is equal to sin squared x, plus cos squared x minus 2 sin x cos x. So one may say, okay, what's the point? The big point here is this part simplifies very, very nicely. This part we recognize to be nothing but 1. It's equal to 1 minus 2 sin x cos x. As you understand, we are pretty close to what we wanted. Sin x cos x in terms of u, we are we have u squared is equal to 1 minus. So let's rearrange to place this sin x uh, place this in terms of this. So let's rearrange. That would be u squared. Let me do that on the same page. Let me go back up and then slightly come down. And here we are. So sin x cos x is nothing but 1 minus u squared by 2. We are pretty much done right now. Okay, remember what we tried out to do. We wanted to express that integral du by something. The something was square root sin x cos x. So which now we know is this, is this expression in terms of u so therefore this something we know this something is 
square root of something, that something is equal to 1 minus u squared by 2, which we can now place is equal to integral du by square root 1 minus u squared by 2. Let me simplify by taking this 2 upstairs. So square root 2 integral du by square root 1 minus u squared. We are pretty close to done now. This is a very common integral. We all know this. This integral, integral du by square root 1 minus u squared is nothing but this is equal to this is equal to I have to remember to place that square root 2 of course sine inverse u plus our old friend the arbitrary constant okay and that is what now all that is left is bring it back what was u what was u we are having to express everything in terms of u u was sin x by minus cos x so if i call let me call the original integral i okay i was nothing i is nothing but so this is the last step i which was integral square root tan x plus square root cotangent of x dx i is nothing but square root 2 i have to remember that sin inverse sin x minus cosine x plus the constant c okay and we are done and we are done in the next installment what i am going to talk about is a related integral the integral is very related to i this integral i as a pre, uh, as a precursor let me just um, uh, as a preview rather let me place that and invite the viewers to think about that integral and in the next installment we will go about finding the solution for that so the integral that we are uh, going to be looking at is integral square root cotangent of x plus square root tan of x dx and then everyone says am i stupid because this is the same thing as the one we just proved equal to i okay okay let's change it slightly